Okay, welcome to Avery Contemporary Art. I'm just showing you the beautiful wisteria as it is at the moment. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to give you a little tour of the latest exhibition, which is um, uh, work by Claire Winchester and, and some of her colleagues. And uh, it's called Walking in a Landscape. And immediately come into the hall, we've got the work of Corinne Corbett-Thompson. Uh, oil on canvas, and they are beautiful. So, lovely, huge painting over the fireplace and some delightful small paintings on the well of the stairs. I think they're beautiful. And then window outside and another lovely one. And another beautiful picture. These are all by Corinne. And then also we have here work by Kaya Bullbrook. These are super. And here again another one. A bit difficult to see this one because of the glazed framing, but it's a very beautiful picture. Um, and this one I'm very fond of too. Carbol but lives in Frittenden, so they're all local artists. Um, then there's more work in the corridor um, by Carl Terry, Shan Seymour. Um, we'll go and have a look at those in a minute. I'll just take you into the main gallery area to show you Claire Winchester's work. She's been working very hard and there's an absolutely stunning selection and uh, I hope you'll agree that they all make a very restful viewing. Beautiful pictures. Full reflection's a bit difficult on that one. But I love this little one, isn't that beautiful? Um, and over here some more. These are all oil on board and only achievable um, really because of the interesting techniques that Claire use, um, used for them and also made her own really. Beautiful things. And uh, done with oil on this very special waxy board which enables the colour to remain very fluid and yet to be moved around and made, um, pushed and pulled and I think she probably takes as much off as she does put on to the canvas really with these. They're stunningly beautiful. And she can also mark the surface with um, her sort of scratchy lines which she then uh, infiltrates with the oil paint so that they become those very th fine lines that you see in the canvas. Very beautiful. Okay, coming into the main space and I think this one is probably the one that, should there be a fire, I would tuck this one under my arm and make off with it in order to save it from certain destruction. It's probably a better route to try and decide which one one would really have Rather than saying, if money was no object, which one would you save in the event of a fire? Maybe it's this one, actually. But then I do this every time, you see. I go around all these lovely pictures, I fall in love with them all, and I can't decide which one I would want to keep. They're all beautiful. In various titles, it's difficult to give you all the titles because I can't remember them, but they're all inspired by... Um, the local landscape around her home, which is in Benenden in Kent, and, um, and also some other local um, places, such as her home, where she grew up near Wadhurst, and um, sometimes further afield, where she visits very often on holiday, which is Cornwall. And she doesn't paint directly from the landscape. She usually comes back and paints in the studio, from memory, what she's seen, so they become a sort of collective memory of the feelings and experiences that she had when she was taking the the walk or the experiencing that particular landscape, and they're just wonderful. That's difficult because of the. That's better. They're very beautiful. This little one down here is exquisite. I love that one. Okay, the last few to show you. This is the one that we illustrated the invitation with, which is a beautiful, cool, wintry scene. Particularly beautiful. 
And these are the last few. But she's been very busy. She's worked very hard to create this lovely collection of work. And wonderful it is. Fantastic. So I'm going to take you out to the corridor so that we can take a sneaky peek at the other work. I hope it's not making you feel seasick. This is uh, work by Paul Jackson. A bit difficult to see from that angle. So, there it is, that's better. And this is also Paul Jackson. This one is particularly beautiful. This is a boat on Hastings Beach. And this is uh, more work by Kaya Balbrook. This is a lovely little trio of pictures. They're very, very calm, very beautiful. This is a fantastic painting by Sharon Seymour. I really love that. And uh, these little ones are also by Sharon. Slightly different in style, much more in pesto, but very exciting, exciting little pictures. I think this one is one of my favourites. I think that's beautiful. Very lovely. And then on the other side of the corridor we have work by Cole Terry. These are very traditional but very beautiful. Very carefully observed local landscapes. These are all um, Romney Marshes, Wittersham, um, Goudhurst. Oh, message just arrived on my phone. I'm sorry about that. Happens all the time, doesn't it? And this last one, Red Boat. Isn't that smashing? Lovely. Anyway, there you are. You've seen a lot. So I hope you'll come and see it um, in the flesh. We're here until the 29th of May, so look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.